As Julia so kindly pointed out, up until this point, everything we've built has been a bit visually underwhelming. Our routes respond with basic black and white plain text, which doesn't really make for the most exciting applications. But the problems with plain text go beyond styling. It's not just that it's unusable, totally embarrassing, boring, sad, disgusting. What? What was? Was that just the entire Ruby team? Yeah. Can you keep going, please? <clears throat> More important than it just being ugly, plain text is just plain lacking in functionality. It's just text. But in reality, there's so much more to a typical web page than text. What about images, links, lists, buttons, forms, videos, tables? Here, I have an idea. Let's imagine for a moment living in a sad, sad world where all websites just respond with text. You probably don't think this world could get more depressing, but you just wait. Here's what the Google News homepage looks like when we extract the plain text content. Imagine if this is what you saw when you visited Google News in your browser. It's impossible to read, and even if you could read it easily, there are no links to click or images to view. And this is what Facebook looks like. It's completely unusable. But on a more positive note, I might actually get some work done. But what we really need is a standardized way of marking up this text to give it some structure so that my browser could render a beautiful and usable page. Enter HTML. Ah, much better. So HTML, or hypertext markup language, is a system for marking up text content and breaking it into different components or elements. It's a way of describing the structure of our content and it gives context and meaning to our information. If this is our plain text content for a web page, HTML is what allows me to specify that this bit of text should be a header. And this bit of text should be emphasized. And this word right here should actually be a link to the Contact Us page. HTML is what allows our pages to go from looking like this to this beautiful page. Well, this is just the raw HTML content. I still think it's beautiful, though. But remember, it's up to browsers to take this underlying HTML response and render it beautifully for us humans to read and waste countless hours of our lives on. Now let's see some of the ways we configure Sinatra to respond with HTML. 